Hi guys. So, wow, the end of December. That means the whole year is down. And we're starting 2016 soon. It's just been absolutely crazy. So I thought I'd come uh, come to you with my last uh, favorites video for 2015. So I have quite a few makeup items a hair care item and a couple of other bits and pieces that I'll run through with you and let's start with makeup so first of all I have the bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation in the shade uh, 52 vanilla now I only got this a little while ago but um, I thought it was worthy of putting into my favorites video because I can't stop using it Ever since I got it, I have used it every single day. And I loved the Healthy Mix foundation because I bought that thinking that it was the Healthy Mix serum foundation, but then realized that I had actually bought the wrong one. But this puts the Healthy Mix foundation to shame. This is the true star. It just glides over your skin so beautifully and it doesn't highlight any dryness and I have a lot of dryness so that was a really big key aspect for me. I think it to me it seems like it has a slightly more coverage than the just the normal healthy mix foundation and it seems even though it's the same color it seems to be slightly a better color match for my skin so I have really been enjoying that one. I also picked up the healthy mix concealer while uh, when I got that and I got the shade I think it's oh, 51 light radiance uh, and I adore this as well together they make a great combination but this works just as well with uh, any other foundation that you're going to use I have been searching and searching and searching for a good concealer because my NARS Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer has sadly finished. Um, so I've been looking for one, but I wanted one that was going to be kind of more budget friendly. So I thought I would give this a try. Uh, Bourjois were running, oh uh, well, yeah, Bourjois were running 30% uh, off in Priceline the other day when I went in there. So I picked those both of those up. So really really nice um, it it covers everything that needs to be covered it wears really well too sometimes uh, I can use a concealer and it'll cover really well in the morning but then as the day wears it um, my some of my redness uh, starts to show through even when I have set my concealer with powder but this one seems to last long enough that that doesn't happen Another uh, concealery type product is the It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Light. Uh, I picked this up in Sephora the other week when I went there and I've been using it every day since. Uh, very thick, uh, you have to be a little heavy handed, uh, no not heavy handed, you need to be a little bit light handed with this because uh, the more that you kind of slap on your face uh, it has a higher tendency to crease. I was using this, so applying my foundation and then applying this underneath the eye, but recently I've just started applying it first, then applying my foundation and then applying a little bit more concealer on over the top. And that seems to be working like a treat uh, because you get that absolute, like the super coverage of this underneath and then... Uh, it color matches when you put your foundation on because this was lighter than a lot of my foundations so I had the trouble of it being too light around my eyes and if you're going for that highlighted look around the eyes then that's that's perfect that's what you want but I wanted something a little bit more even so putting it underneath the foundation has been a real winner so last makeup item is the Tarte 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the shade exposed I also picked this up when I went to Sephora and have not been able to stop using it because it's just 
it's just so pretty on the cheeks to give you that kind of natural flush because it's not super pink it's very kind of neutral I would say it's kind of like a dusty rose color but I've heard it be explained as like a, a pinky brownie color uh, it's just kind of like a nude for you, like a nude lip color for your cheeks it's it's really beautiful really really pretty and the I love top I love all tart blushes they are super long lasting and just really easy to use really great color payoff not much fallout you know next to no fallout you don't even need to pick up a lot of product it's not like you've got to like swirl your brush around and keep going and keep going and keep going just to get um, just to get a decent amount on your cheeks this is absolutely beautiful super super good for the summertime anyway let's continue so on to hair care now this I picked up on a whim the other day just thinking oh I need some new uh, conditioner ended up picking up this Paul Mitchell moisture instant moisture daily treatment so what got me was that okay it's got moisture like it's a mo it's targeted for moisture so I was like that's that's exactly what I need but what also got me was that it was a daily treatment so it was something I could use daily but it was something that was going to be slightly thicker than average conditioner which is what I wanted because I had I have really dehydrated hair it really gets really really dry I was kind of skeptical because I was like this is probably going to make my hair greasy and awful and weigh my hair down and not going to I'm not going to be able to style it properly because that's what you think when you think treatment you think heavy but it is not this is the best conditioner I have ever 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 used ever you don't need to use a lot I focus it on uh, the bottom of my hair but then I also bring it to the top because the tops of my hair can tend to get a little um, a little dry as well I have noticed a huge decrease in my hair breaking a huge decrease in my frizzy flyaways like around the roots of my hair I have also noticed that my hair is no longer dry that's right that is correct my hair is no longer dry this has completely changed my life and I don't think I will ever be buying another conditioner this is just a superstar now on to kind of the more body care is I'll start with the soap and glory sugar crush body butter cream now I absolutely adore soap and glory and the price point is amazing so I got picked this up on a whim the other day because I was out of my normal The Body Shop body butter uh, and I thought I'll just give something else to try. I would pick this one up and I thought oh sugar crush it, it should be sweet it should be nice uh, kind of good for the summertime but oh, I just did not know what I was getting in for until I brought it home and I smelt it. It is amazing it reminds me of like you know, I don't know if you've ever drank it, the Schweppes uh, Lime Soda. That's what it reminds me of. It's like Schweppes Lime Soda in body butter form. What's it got in it? With shea, coconut, balm, lime and kiwi water juice. And it smells delicious. The scent lingers just long enough. It's probably slightly more on the greasy side than the Body Shop body butters. Like it tends to stay greasier for a longer period of time but it does eventually sink in it's very nourishing very soothing very cooling uh really really loving that like i've nearly used half and i hadn't haven't really had it for that long so that's saying something next up is the body shop peppermint reviving leg gel now i've been really super into running lately and my legs have been getting really tired and sore so when I saw this in the body shop I snatched it up straight away it doesn't last for a very long time when you put it 
when you put it on your legs like it's not something that gives you like relief for a really long period of time it's very cooling when as soon as you put it on the legs and it's cooling for a long time after obviously it's not going to get rid of joint pain or or anything like that but it just it just feels really nice going on the legs especially when you're all hot and bothered after you know you exercise and you and just helps you and your tired muscles kind of relax which I've really really been liking so I've been using that uh, after all of my runs we're coming into the good old Australian summer where the the sun is harsh and me and my fair skin don't always get on with uh, with this time of year so I always like to make sure that I'm protected from the sun so lately on any run walk activity outside where I'm spending time I'm spending time outside for an extended period of time I always 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 make sure I have my sun protection make sure I have some sunscreen I should probably wear this all year round but it's hard to find a nice sunscreen that doesn't smell too sunscreeny or leave you too greasy but lately and for probably a really long time now I've been loving this banana bolt ultra very high protection clear sunscreen spray and it's an F SPF 50 plus it's uh, four hours water resistance UVA UVB protection so it's everything that you want it's been over a year and I have not used another sunscreen because we just keep buying this one over and over and over again because I love it. it it works so well most other sunscreens I use don't give me enough protection and I have to literally apply them every hour but this one I can it does what it says on the tin I I only have to spray it on myself every four hours so really really good along the same line of the sun protection I picked up uh, some SPF for my face because that's the only part of my routine that I seem to be lacking in. I don't have, I don't use SPF for my face. If there's SPF in the foundation, then that's about all the SPF I get, which a lot of the times isn't enough. And I know that I've probably already done a lot of damage to my skin, uh, but I want to try and stop further damage from happening because there's no way I can reverse the damage that's already been done. Uh, so I picked up the La Roche Posay uh spf ultra light spf in 50 plus uh, for your face the other day and i have really been enjoying it it it's really lightweight uh kind of on the watery side which is really good like to apply for, for your face because you don't want something that's going to be super thick and then to apply makeup again over the top it is it is greasy because all SPF is greasy it is greasy but it doesn't take very long for it to soak into the skin and then you can get on with the rest of your makeup routine I've been really liking that as well and last but not least my Adidas boost runners sorry they're super dirty it's super um super dusty where i run these have just been making my runs way more enjoyable what they do is they use a layer of foam in the sole of their shoe uh, and that cushions your foot as you run and as you as your foot hits the ground because I was finding that I wasn't getting enough support and I was having pains in my feet and all of that sort of stuff. And the, and the way that the, the layer of foam is positioned in the sole of the shoe, it kind of corrects the direction of your foot so you're not rolling out, you're not rolling in, you, you know, you're putting the correct pressure and weight on the right parts of your foot. Love that they're super lightweight. Uh, they've really really helped me with my running I have I have a lot less pain now really good I'm really loving them okay so that's it that brings me to the end of my December favorites I hope you all enjoy your New Year's and have a really good time welcoming in 2016 so I'll see you guys later bye